My name is Charlie Kiefer. I am retired. I am a docent here and I give tours to the Castro Adobe, which was my family's adobe. I grew up in this area. My mother was born in this area. I was born in San Francisco, and not one time did anybody ever mention that we had an adobe or that we were Castros. So it was a great joy later on in my life to find out that I am a Castro descendant. I did not think this would ever happen. I actually thought this building's going to die. It's going to disappear. I was wrong. Today, we proudly celebrate the preservation of the Castro adobe by recognizing all those who dedicated their time, resources, and labor to create an experience that was almost lost to the past. Built between 1849 and 1850, the Castro adobe symbolizes the deep roots of Mexican culture here in the Pajaro Valley and in California. The property passed through several owners over the decades until California State Parks took ownership in 2002. Severely damaged by the 1989 Loma Prieta earthquake, the Castro adobe was left uninhabitable and covered in tarps, a relic of its former glory. Edna Kimbrough, who owned the adobe when the earthquake hit, carved out a career advocating for the preservation and conservation of adobe structures. The effort to preserve was always more of a calling than a job for Edna. People are drawn to the Castro adobe. We are so grateful for the special community that has been created around this work and inspired by Edna. After Edna passed away in 2005 and driven by her passion, Friends of Santa Cruz State Parks led the restoration effort in collaboration with State Parks. Saving the Castro adobe was no small feat, but Edna's legacy inspired so many people to join the cause. And in 2007, the real work was just getting started. Friends of Santa Cruz State Parks teamed up with 150 volunteers and the California Conservation Corps. Together, they reconstructed 2,500 bricks, each one weighing about 85 pounds. The bricks were used to rebuild the damaged walls and launch a years-long true collaboration between Friends and State Parks. Over time, a new roof was installed, cracks were repaired in the walls, and seismic stabilization was installed to complete a massive retrofitting process that safeguards the adobe from future earthquakes. Friends managed and led the restoration efforts. With a successful rehabilitation underway, the park started welcoming visitors for the first time, leading the way for a new generation of Californians to appreciate the Castro adobe. Inviting local school children to experience the property was always Edna's vision for the future. This one would make a wonderful heritage park. I think this building has the potential to be a symbol of Hispanic pride and a place where school children could go for an entire day and participate in a program that would deal with um, raising cattle and Hispanic rancho life. Scores of classes have visited throughout different stages of the restoration, including students participating in the exciting program Kids to Parks. The experience that visitors have at this park is a real sensory connection to the rancho lifestyle, linking past and present. Here in the Castro Adobe's kitchen, or cocina, visitors can now experience daily life at a Mexican rancho by preparing food in the cocina. This is one of only five remaining rancho casinas in all of California. To provide universal access to the upstairs of the adobe, it was necessary to strengthen the sagging second floor. Led by the Friends Project Manager, a team of engineers, state parks historians, and preservation consultants agreed in 2016 on the best course of action. After years of meetings, drawings, calculations, and designs, a steel beam was threaded through the adobe brick walls, spanning the entire length of the building. This was completed in only two and a half hours. However, for everyone to appreciate the full history of the Castro adobe, it was imperative to make the second floor accessible to all. The solution? Add a lift to the building. This innovation makes the Fandango room available to all. It's a model for other state parks in providing access. Restoration of the adobe continued in earnest despite the pandemic. Construction crews repaired and plastered all of the interior walls of the building, applying three to five coats of whitewash. The original painted chair rail and baseboard were meticulously conserved and restored. The exterior was also repaired and whitewashed as part of the finish work. 
Beyond the interior, the land itself was given a loving hand in the restoration process. The garden was fully restored in 2014, but the design plans were much older in fact, and historic in their own right. In 1969, the Castro Adobe's owner, Elizabeth Potter, consulted with famed landscape architect, Thomas Church. Those original designs from over 50 years ago were used for today's Potter Church Garden. The revival of this garden created a central gathering place on the property and gave an incredible morale boost to the overall restoration of the Castro Adobe. Thousands of curious visitors have toured the Castro Adobe during various stages of the restoration, compelling so many people to get involved. Volunteers have put on events, raised money, maintained gardens, and taken a personal interest in the progress of the state park. We invite you to share in the experience for yourself and relive a piece of our cultural heritage in the Pajaro Valley. One of the great stories about having this building is you can tell the history of California. And it is such a joy to know my family's wonderful, wonderful two-story hacienda is alive and well, and people get to come to see it. So next year, we are going to be dancing upstairs in the Fandango Room. It's going to be an absolute joy to bring back that type of history to this area. Thanks to a community full of dreamers and doers, together we have restored the Castro Adobe. It took 20 years of hope and perseverance. We are so happy to celebrate this monumental accomplishment. We proudly celebrate the diverse community that came together to make this dream a reality. The Castro Adobe will continue to share its history for generations, no longer at risk of fading into a distant memory.